Mr Speaker, the families of some of the missing are in the public gallery today. We call for the immediate release of all hostages. And I say to them, we stand with you, we stand with Israel. The murdered and the missing come from over 30 countries, including the United Kingdom. The terrible nature of these attacks means it is proving difficult to identify many of the deceased. But with a heavy heart, I can inform the House that at least six British citizens were killed. A further 10 are missing, some of whom are feared to be among the dead. We are working with Israel to establish the effects as quickly as possible, and we are supporting the families who are suffering unimaginable pain. We are also helping British citizens who want to leave Israel. We've organised eight flights so far, bringing out over 500 people, with more flights leaving today. We're working with neighbouring countries on land evacuations for our citizens in Gaza and the West Bank. I've spoken specifically to President Sisi about supporting civilians to leave Gaza by the Rafa border crossing, which at present remains closed. And we have a border force team in Egypt working with our embassy to help citizens when they are able to cross.